Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my updated makeup collection. I did this about a year ago I think it was when I just had one of the Ikea Alex drawers but now I've got two. I ordered another one. The first one I got from Ikea.com and the second one I got from Trade Me. I didn't order off Ikea. I think that's how you say it. It's like Ikea but with an A. I didn't order off them again because the first time I think it came okay. It took forever but it came okay and then I ordered a second set and they sent me the wrong set of drawers and I had to get it like delivered back and it was kind of a huge hassle and they didn't even have the right ones in stock so I just went to a different website but basically these cost an arm and a leg in New Zealand they're like $400, $500 which is ridiculous but I've tried those little drawers on wheels I've tried so many different types of furniture that are readily available in New Zealand and nothing was really suitable the makeup was too heavy for them those just work really well lots of people on YouTube have them they're great for makeup they're technically like office drawers yes they're super expensive but they're still cheaper than getting like custom storage or something like that so I work with what I have and I love them I'm not trying to bear brag <laughs> I feel like people understand having YouTube as your job more now. Back in the day, like if you posted a makeup collection, you'd get so much hate because everyone was like, you don't need this much makeup. Whereas now people understand like you don't buy it because you need it all. You buy new products all the time to like review for people because that's your job. So you do end up with quite a large collection, more than the average person needs. I know for myself anyway, I donate lots of makeup. I give away lots of makeup to friends, to my parents' church, to heaps of different places. So I don't just let stuff sit around that I'm not currently using. So like I said, I've got these two drawers here and then I've got this little drawer here which has some like eyelashes and stuff in it and a clear one. So I'll show you all of those. So without further ado, let's just get into it. So as I mentioned earlier, these are my drawers. I just have them in the corner of my room next to this little white bedside cabinet. I think that was from Harvey Norman's for memory. Got it a few years ago, but yeah, my little wall plug thing is from the warehouse. I also got that a couple of years ago, but they might still have that or similar ones. And then my fairy lights are just from Trade Me, so that's kind of my little corner of all my storage. And then on top here, as you would have seen from my video backgrounds, I've got some little clear acrylic holders and some pretty lipsticks that I like to display. So I've got all my Karen Murrell lipsticks. If you've been watching me for a while, you will know I love these. They're like just amazing for your lips. All the ingredients are so natural. They're vibrant colors. I just love them. So I keep those out because I use them all the time. And then of course my YSL lipsticks because who wouldn't display those? Let's be real, they're so pretty. Then I have three of these little pillar lipsticks from Benefit which I'm not even sure if they sell those anymore but they are really pretty and I had three so they just fit there really well. And then my Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipsticks because again, they're stunning and I use these a lot also so they're just really easy to access up here. I actually keep all my OCC lip tars and little MAC lip tints and stuff in this jar which I got with a PR package but they have really similar ones at like Briscoe's and Kmart because I bought one the other day for our kitchen that looked just like this. So those are kind of there so they're displayed and a couple of candles. Yellow one is from The Warehouse and then the other one is an Estee Lauder candle. And then I have one lone perfume displayed over here just because it's new and it's really pretty. It's the Viva La Juicy Rosé perfume. And then I have a little container, I think this was just a pen container like from an office store with all my coloured eye pencils in. I've got some Zoeva, Chi Chi, MAC, these are just all my coloured eye pencils and then like white and nude ones. And then in the back in these little organisers I got from Daiso which is just a Japanese store, I have the majority of my brushes. And on the down low, a massive pile of dirty brushes. So, yep, just keeping it real. Half of them are dirty. Then in this clear acrylic case, I keep all my liquid lipsticks, apart from the Jeffree Star ones, obviously. So I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills ones, these Estee Lauder ones, which are so pretty. I need to buy more of those. Just a side note to myself. Rimmel Apocalypse. My one Too Faced Melted. These Chi Chi Creamy Matte Liquid Lipsticks. Astralis for Law Lips. I've got my YSL Glossy Stains, which I love. Oh my gosh, I would own all of those if I could. They're amazing. I have a little Bourjois Liquid Lipstick and then all my NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. You guys know I'm a massive fan of these. So I've got a ton of those. Also a few of the Extreme Lip Creams. And I think there was a collection one floating around in there somewhere too. One of the Cream Puff ones. And then on the bottom, I have all the designer brands liquid lipsticks that have the entire range and a few backups. So I just keep all those in there. 
So for the top drawer on the right hand set of drawers, if that makes sense, I have kind of eye stuff. So I've got all my mascaras, some Max Factor ones, a waterproof one from ZA, my They're Real Brown and Black mascaras and the Tinted Primer, which I love wearing on like no makeup makeup days. Then I have all my glitter eyeliners on the side there, mostly Chi Chi, and then I have this one eye brightener thing, which I think was Etude House. It's a Korean brand. Then I have all my pomade, so I've got Chi Chi, Anastasia, a Maybelline Color Tattoo, which is in like a taupey shade, which I just use for brows. And then I've got a couple of the Ardell ones and also some black gel eyeliners. And this is actually a pill case from iHerb, you know, just a little clippy pill case and I just cut the tops off so it just fits the liners really well and that's what I keep those in and that cost me like 20 cents, so life hack. Then I have my Benefit They're Real push-up liners. For lip liners, in the front I keep all my Chi Chi and Colourpop ones. And in the back there's lots of random brands like NYX, MAC, Essence, Smashbox, Models Prefer, Clean Colour, ELF. Then in here I have some more pencil liners, but these are just kind of the more plain ones. They're all black and brown colours. They don't really go in that little holder that I keep on top of my desk. And at the back I just keep my current black liquid liners that I'm going through or trying out. There's actually a few coloured ones in there, I lied. There's a green inglot one, a white lime crime one, and I think a blue be a bombshell one. And I have my Hello Kitty eyeliner, which I don't know if I'll ever use, but it's really cute. So I keep that. And then on the side in this little smaller divider, I have all my brow stuff. So I've got an array of brow gels, as you can see. Elf one there, some nude sticks, eye pencils, and just random eyebrow pencils from various brands. Then in the second drawer down, I've got face powders. So like NYX, Chanel, Milani, The Balm. Art Deco, that's a loose highlight powder and a little under eye setting powder. Again, just lots of face powders. These are all the ones I use to stitch my face. Three models prefer ones there because they're really nice. Nude by Nature, Rimmel, Etude House. And then all these ones along the side here are from MAC. So a couple of Studio Fix powders. That one's from a limited edition collection. That's actually my dad's from when he worked at TVNZ, so it's kind of a keepsake color. It's way too dark for me. Then I have Light Scapade Highlighter, Cinderella Powder, which is crap. I wish I didn't buy that, but I keep it anyway because the packaging's pretty. Random bigger compacts on the side, so like that Naked Highlight and some Chi Chi powders. Those are some Maybelline powders I got sent that I haven't tried out yet. And then at the back, I've got kind of bigger powder kits. So I've got my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Palette and some contour kits. And then in the third drawer I just have the rest of my powders and this isn't so much face powders, it's more bronzers and highlights, it's not blushes, it's just bronzers and highlights. So you can see all the different brands I'm showing you here, just heaps of random products. I'm not going to list every single product because we'll be here all day and that was kind of the point of me doing a voiceover so you can like see all the products without me having to point out every single one. But of course if you have any questions just leave them down below if you want to know like a certain shade of a product or if you'd like me to do a tutorial with anything please let me know because it's the whole kind of point of me showing you what I have in my collection is so you can request tutorials and stuff like that. We're on to the fourth drawer down now. So I have some spare Chi Chi lip liners. They sent me a bunch of them, which was super nice of them. So I'm pretty much sorted for life there. And then I have most of my blushes in this big kind of dish. And I like keeping them like this instead of sitting up, if that makes any sense. Because then I can see most of the shades. I'm just going through and showing you my NARS ones because the packaging isn't see-through on them. That one's a mini one that Shannon got me as a present. It's so cute. That was a size reference for you. It's really small. <laughs> So yeah, it's got lots of various brands. I love that one. It's a little puff blush from a tube house. Got some from The Balm. That's another cute one from a tube house. You guys can tell I was into my Korean cosmetics for a while there. So fifth drawer down now, these are little eyeshadow quads that I get sent from PR mainly or a couple I have bought myself. How pretty are these YSL ones? I like never use them, which is bad because they're just like so pretty. Oh, and that one there from Rimmel is my favorite drugstore quad. It's so good, it's like so pigmented. And then in the back, I've just got lots of ColourPop eyeshadows and some cream color bases. Sixth drawer down, this is the first kind of big drawer. If you have the eye color, eye color, IKEA Alex drawers, you will know what I mean. 
So these are all my concealers, there's like the Rimmel Wake Me Up, so YSL ones, ELF, NARS, all those kinds of things. Got a Makeup Revolution concealer palette, and then at the back here is little pop concealers. So I've got Anastasia, Benefit, some of the LA Girl concealers, a three concept eyes one. And then these are my kind of jumbo cream eyeshadow pencils, and I've separated them into darker shades, which are the ones I just showed you. And then these ones are the concealer pencils and the lighter shades, and that way when I'm kind of looking for an eye base, I can just either grab a lighter or a darker one. Drawer number six, this is foundations. It's the same on the other drawer too. These are kind of my more used foundations. The section at the front is kind of like tub foundations, and then the second part is kind of light coverage, then towards the back I have fuller coverage, so my designer brand's foundation, Elizabeth Arden, all those kinds of ones, now Sheer Glow. And the very bottom drawer is where I keep most of my lipsticks. These holders are all from eBay, I'll make sure I link them off down below. Got some Rimmel, Wet n Wild, these are Chewed House ones that are in the middle because they don't fit into the slots. And Noxa, all my MAC lipsticks. Durai Cosmetics, which are by MAC because they kind of look like them. Got a couple of Inglot ones, MAC Secta, Chanel, Elizabeth Arden, those are some more MAC ones. Which I always joke look like tampons because they're in limited edition packaging. Just showing you some random things that I have in there, some Benefit Balms, NYX Round lipsticks. And then the bottom drawer of this unit has palettes, just like the other unit, it's got palettes in the bottom drawer too. So some sleek ones, Benefit, Bobbi Brown, Makeup Revolution. Again, if you want tutorials on any of these palettes, just let me know. Oh, that cream blush palette is so ruined because Louis stood in it, Shannon's dog. <laughs> but it's so funny, so I still keep it. And then that's just a insert thing for a MAC palette and an empty box. And then onto the other drawer. So I'm starting from the bottom and going up. I'm just showing you all my Chi Chi palettes. My favorite one at the moment has been, oh my gosh, now I can't remember the name. Is it gonna pop up? I think it's called Spices. I think it hasn't been yet. Yeah, I think it's under that. There it is, Spices. Oh my gosh, I need to do a tutorial on it. It's so pretty. Just quickly whizzing through all these. Got Stila, The Balm, Urban Decay, Zoeva, BH Cosmetics. I'm just gonna leave some music to play because you guys can see for yourself without me being annoying and talking. So just enjoy the palettes. <laughs> These are all Makeup Geek shadows, there's a few Inglot contour shades and blushes in that one too. And this one is all Sephora shadows and then some Inglot lipsticks. This is my Neutrals MAC palette. And my Unneutrals MAC palette, which I got sick of filling because I kind of got over MAC eyeshadows. And my Inglot palette. And then the next draw up from that is the rest of my lipsticks. So I've got these little collection ones here, which I might do a swatch video on if you guys are interested. Then along the side in the back here, these are all the LA Girl matte lipsticks. This is what they look like when you wind them up, if you're wondering. <laughs> and then along the front, it's all Chi Chi lipsticks, which I'm sure you guys have seen before. And then I've just got random ones on the side there that didn't fit in my eBay holders. They're a bit too fat. So like three concept eyes, designer brands, mainly the ones that are in like square packaging or weirdly shaped packaging. Those are a couple of MAC ones, Clarins. These are so pretty and sparkly. I love those. Those are some Shop Masai lipsticks and Peri Peri, and bam, we're on to the next draw up. So like I said, it's the same kind of drawer as the other one. I don't know if I'm making any sense. The sixth draw down, I think it was. It's all foundations. And this one I have my primers too, so I'm just kind of sifting through them so you can have a look. I did buy this one that Nikki Tutorials recommended, but it kind of burnt my face, so I'm still seeing how I go with that. And of course, I've got my mini primers. <laughs> so cute. In the middle, that's all foundations I'm kind of trying out at the moment. And then at the back, it's all my fake tanned foundations. When I've got a really dark tan, so I've got a couple of the Born This Way EX1 foundations that kind of shiz. Draw up from there is quite empty. It's just my BB creams, which I kind of lay out in this little pot here. Skin 79, Ooi Wally, you guys know the drill. Next draw up, I have a blank space. Woo! I'm so happy because I can actually fill it with stuff. I just did a clear up. Such a nice feeling to have a little gap there. Then I've just got some eyeshadow primers and more mini products. Surprise, surprise. I'm obsessed with mini stuff. You guys know this by now. 
Then this drawer is all blushes. I lost a little bit of footage here, but you can see all the blushes because the lids are all see-through. Again, if you want to know any like shade names specifically, just let me know down below. But these are pretty much all my MAC blushes and some three concept eyes and stuff like that. Now third drawer to the top, this is all cream blushes and cream highlights and that kind of thing. And for some reason I accumulated a lot of these, so they've got their own drawer. I've got some MAC cream colour bases, Colourpop cream blushes, these beautiful Body Shop lip and cheek tints, they're so pretty. I've got a ton of these LA Girl Velvet Jumbo Sticks. They come in contour shades, highlight shades, and blush shades. Another one of those Body Shop Dome things, like I have a highlight and a blush shade. And these Benefit Tints, which if you guys haven't seen them before, they look weird like nail polishes. But once you put them on, they're really pretty. Second drawer to the top is lip glosses. In the front here, I have all my ColourPop lippies and the Maybelline Color Blur Sticks. The side is all like kind of chubby pencil sticks. In the back I've got glosses, Estee Lauder, Elizabeth Arden, Too Faced, Giorgio Armani, Urban Decay, MAC, Mary Kay, NYX, Essence. And in the very top drawer here I've got all my kind of baked eyeshadows. Lots from Chi Chi and a couple of makeup store ones. These are single pot eyeshadows in the back here, both drugstore and high-end ones. And then lastly I've got all my pigments. So I've got some Chi Chi ones. Quite a few MAC ones, and then all these little tiny ones are from NYX. So those are the two drawers done. Phew, we did it. Now heading over to lashes. I've got a ton of lashes in this drawer. I order like so many of these Cara eyelashes, number 415. Stock up on those bare boys. And then I've got some Exo Beauty lashes, lots of eyelash glue, a couple of Ardell lashes. So yeah, that's basically a roundup of my collection, excluding a little pile of products I have, which is like stuff I literally just got. I'll link any of the dividers and stuff that I can down below, because I did get some off eBay and stuff, like I said. So those will all be down below, and the links to these drawers if you did want to get them, and you're crazy like me, and you just want to spend like your life savings on Ikea drawers. So please do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It was so requested. It's been requested like ever since I got a second set of drawers, so since like six months ago. But I finally did it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Also subscribe to my channel if you have not already and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye! You take a thumbnail. Oh, yes. oh my god! <laughs> Just pop this open with my titties. Great shot of you. <laughs> no. We should be like, oh we're so in love. Click this.